so hello everybody, it is Thursday, so it's time for another Tax Fridays, a new Tax function every Friday. And in today's Tax Fridays, I'm going to show you how you can create leading zeros to your column using DAX. Let's get started. Okay guys, so you normally would create these in Power Query, but this is something that I need dynamically just for one measure. I'm creating this dashboard that you see here, and... Uh, I need to have a year week number created dynamically. And for that, we're going to need leading zeros. Let me show you. So I have here an activity date. So th this is basically a data set that has all the sports that I've done through the pandemic. So here is when I started doing something. And what I need in order to conditional format the visual that you see here, this one, I need to grab year date from the activity date. I could hard code it for sure, but I don't want to do that because I'm going to use it just for this, I think. So, how do you create leading zeros? Here's the thing. Let's create a new measure and make it bigger to see if we see something. And you might think, okay, it is not that hard, actually. Let's create just a variable because it will be easier for us then to troubleshoot and show you step by step. step, by step. So we're going to grab the mean of the activity date. As you probably know, on measures, you cannot just add columns. You need to have um, a function, wrap around, return, and then we put activity date. Bear with me just for a second. And this is going to be your month activity date. So I put it in the visual and then it's obviously going to return the same thing. So you might think, okay, to do um, year month is actually quite easy. I just wrap this week number, which would basically give us a week number for that particular week. And then it's just concatenate, right? How hard can it be? So year, and then I put activity date. And then you concatenate it with that thing. And there you go. But look here, there are places where I have, you know, there's one digit. And on my calendar, I have year and then I have zero 01 instead of 1. So I don't want to change that. I like that format. I want to add zero 01 in here. How do we do it? Let me show you. We're going to comment this out. Okay, in order to do this leading zeros, we're going to use the function rept. And rept, what it does is it takes any text, whatever you want, and it repeats the number of times that you want. So we're going to use the rept function. We're going to have a zero and repeat the zero the number of times that we want and then concatenate it. Okay, so let me show you. So the first thing that we need to do is to count the number of digits that our week number has. Let me show you. So if I do again week number activity date, you are going to see that some weeks have two, zero, two digits, some have one, so we need to know. So if we count with the function length, we can actually count the number of digits of a text and you can see that these have two digits and this has one. So now that we know the number of digits, we can say, because rept needs the number of digits to add, and we just want two, we can do two minus. So rep will say to this add zero, zero, so do not add any, to this add one. Okay, so this is basically telling us the number of zeros that rep needs to add. And now that we have that, it's actually very easy to put it together. So rept, and then here it will be uh, the digit that we want to repeat, or the text, which is zero. And then you will see here zeros where there is one. When there is zero, it's blank, it doesn't do anything. Don't bother, because now what we're going to do is concatenate with week number activity date. And you'll see that it does exactly what we want. So to wrap this up, the only thing that we need to do is to go here, year, activity, date, and then do the same thing that we did before, concatenate, and voila, here we have our year, month, generated 
dynamically so we can do comparisons to do conditional formatting or whatever you need. Great, isn't it? Okay, so this is all for this week. I will see you again next week. I have a really cool Power Query video. You don't want to miss that. And uh, enjoy your weekend. See you soon. Bye.